This is section 7.6, Solving Systems of Linear Inequalities. When we finish, I want you to be able to solve a system by graphing. So just a quick review, whenever we're graphing inequalities, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our variable is isolated. In this case, it already is. Now we need to remember our y-intercept is equal to negative 3. Don't put y equals, make sure that you write y intercept is equal to negative 3 and your slope in this case is positive 2. Since it's not a fraction, I'm going to go ahead and put it over 1. My y intercept is negative 3, I'm going to go down 3. My slope is 2, I'm going to rise 2, so there's 1, 2, and I'm going to run 1. I'm going to look at the symbol that I have. It's going to tell me if I need a solid line or a dashed line. And I have less than or equal to, so that tells me I'm going to have a solid line. So I'm going to take my straight edge and connect these points. Now I have my line drawn. Now I need to do the graphing. It says y is less than, so I go to the y-axis and I shade below. Or I shade where y is getting smaller. Okay, now let's look at this one. The only difference is instead of graphing one linear inequality, we're going to be graphing two or more. In this case, we're going to be graphing three. So the first one, I'm going to graph y is less than two in blue. Okay, this is a special line, so I'm going to go to two on my y-axis. It only says less than, so I'm going to have a dashed line at y is equal to 2. The second one, x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So I'm going to go to negative 1 on the x-axis. I'm going to have a solid line. Going to make sure I use my straight edge. It's a little more challenging to graph these on the tablet than it is to do um, pencil and paper. So now I'm going to graph the last one. Y is greater than x minus 2. My y intercept is negative 2. My slope is 1, rise 1, run 1. And I'm going to have a dashed line. And I'm just going to add my dashes We're using the eraser. Okay, so now I have that done. Now it's time for me to go back and shade. And I'm going to use a different color highlighter for each one. Okay, so for the first equation, y is less than 2, I'm going to use the light blue highlighter, and I made a mark there. So I'm going to go to y is less than 2, I'm going to shade below. Okay, now for the next one x is greater than or equal to pos um, to negative 1. So this one I'm going to be shading to the right. Okay, so so far the area that's in common is down here and below. Now let's do the pink. y is greater than x minus 2. So I'm going to this line, and I'm going to shade above. Now when I shade above, the only area that's included in all three graphs is inside this triangle right here. So this area right here inside this space 
is my solution. So you're going to want to make sure you either use some lines or um, some really good colors for your highlighter so that you can see where they are. Okay, now this one, I have this um, equation. Y is greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero. So I am going to have a solid line. I'm going to do this one in blue. Right here, going through zero. It's actually going to cover up my x-axis. I'm going to use a different method for shading this time. This time I am going to shade just drawing some lines greater than or equal to so I'm just going to just sketch some lines that go through my graph. So this way you can choose which method works best for you. This one may look a little bit cleaner than the previous method we used. Okay, now I'm going to graph x is greater than or equal to 1. So I'm going to go through 1 at the x-axis. Once again, it's going to be a solid line. Okay, and my line is a little bit off. It's a little difficult to draw this on the computer. So I'm going to be drawing some more angled lines. Okay, so so far the area that could be a solution is right here. Now let's look at our last one. We have x plus y is less than 6. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I have y is less than or equal to negative x plus 6. Graph this one with um, green. My y-intercept is 6, so I go all the way up to 6 on the y-axis. My slope is negative 1, down 1, over 1. Once again, I'm going to have a solid line because it's less than or equal to. Connect these. There's a lot of colors going on here. So this one I graphed in green. Let's see. This one I think I'm going to use the highlighter for. So now y is less than, y is going to be less than below this line and I'm only going to grab, I'm only going to shade in the area that has the blue purple, so that's going to highlight my area a little bit more for me. So this little yellow triangle is the solution because it gives you a boundary for all of your sides and that's it.